Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create reports in WPF applications. Uh, now you open the Visual Studio and I'm using Visual Studio 2010. Now I'm working on a current project, on an existing project. Um, I use this because I have some tables, uh, already made tables here and you can uh, add your own new project and you can add tables and data inside this and then you can you can follow so here uh, in this project I'm going to create a new because this has its own uh, windows and all those things I'm going to add a new window so let's uh, we work separately from this project mm, report add it and now because uh, this um, there is no report viewer available here for WPF applications we have to mm, we have to use the mm, that report viewer control from the windows form there are two ways for doing that one is using windows uh, form host uh, form host that uh, that gives us a little functionality over, over this design mm, and but here in this uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add it uh, in another way you just create a add a new window here new item instead of WPF application WPF window you, you just choose windows form and name it name it name it name it uh, uh, reports just reports and resize it here now go to this uh, here uh, now this one has all the all the what all the All the controls that the uh, Windows form has. Uh, we are going to add from the reporting. We are going to add report viewer, and uh, here we are going to dock it in the table and this window, and then design a new report. You know guys, because I'm already I have already added one data set, but if you have not added any data set, you can go in other data set. This is my library data set and there are tables that I have in data in this data set. So I choose this table and click next. Here are formats. Do you want to be within column or row? So I want this one and drag and drop any column that you want and this is enough for me and here you must add uh, some functions like count num count the number of books and click next here I tell you that you should uncheck this because this is unnecessary and uncheck this too and click next here are the, the appearance how they are going to appear I like this one and then I click next here some columns may need some more space like book title I have to resize it book title other name will take a little more space and like that you can upgrade it like so, 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 go to here and come to this, click it and click. When you click that one, all these reports are added in this report viewer. When you click this one, you can see that this is automatically generated in the Windows form. Now, from this window, from this WPF window, we are going to open that report window this window so we add one button here and we name it generate reports generate reports oh, 
on in me. Oh, I'm in baby, dude, now. I <laughs> the uh, one, what is the name of that before? Yeah, it is the name of this is before. So I just report report RP new RP dot RP dot show RP dot show. Okay, guys, now in the app panel, you should uh, report or report, report WTF. Click run. And then you can edit the report. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have three books available and like it and this is the table. From here you have many other you want to export it in Excel, save it as PDF, save it as Word, printing and all those steps. So close it. This is how you add reports in WPF applications. One thing you should not forget that you're not you're not limited to the showing all the data. From here you can add curate. Uh, you can add, uh, for example, all those books uh, which uh, languages English or or group them by category and all those stuffs. You can do. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Where is it? 10.